Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Secret of Mana. This is Great T-Shirt Man bringing you possibly the fourth take of this uh, episode. <laughs> uh, why is that, you may ask? Because the second and third takes were shit. I mean, why else? And the first one, well, that was a disaster. Yes, there's a little... Well, before I go on, uh, this is a little caveman-looking dude with the goggles here. He works for a little something called the Cannon Travel Agency, or, I'm sorry, Center. And he's offering to take us immediately to the Water Palace. And while that is a nice offer, and Gemma has apparently paid our way as well, I'm not going to take it up. Or, you know, take him up on that offer. You see, what these guys do is, and there are many of them, by the way, because they're brothers, uh, obviously. He, you probably saw him mention it. You basically pay them to use a cannon, and it's basically your form of fast travel in this entire game. Imagine flying in Pokémon, except... In that game, you could do that anywhere, whereas in this game, you have to... you, 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 you get the idea. <laughs> but anyway, you probably noticed at the very beginning of this episode, I entered this area from the north yet again. But isn't that what I did at the end of the la- oh shit. <laughs> at the end of the last episode? Why yes? Yes it is. Well, you see, I uh... <laughs> I uh, I actually did load a save from before the boss battle and off screen. I remember to get the bandana this time. Yes, I really did go through all that trouble just to get it. That... two defense. <laughs> what can I say? I'm addicted to min-maxing at times. At times, I'm not a real nut about it. And you get the idea. And another, th another thing I wanted to... Whoa! You know, I really thought I killed that thing. Then again, I can't really see when he's behind a tree. <sighs> Son of a bitch! Yeah, when... In my experience, it's not a very good chance for it to actually successfully happen, but, uh... If you get hit by the, a Mushboom's powder, you'll actually pretty much fall asleep. Or get knocked out, you know, same thing. But the one thing I wanted to state... You see how close I have to get to the edge of the screen just to move it? That's freaking ridiculous, isn't it? That's actually one of the three big flaws that I feel this game has. The other two are, well... Mostly opinionated, I must say. Well, actually, no. Only one of them is opinionated, and that would be the combat. I'm not a big fan of the combat. Some people probably are. As a matter of fact, I know people like the combat in this game. On paper, it seems like it would be, you know, good enough. But look, hear me out. Sometimes later on in the game, you have to charge up to a pretty high, uh, you know, charge level when your weapon level is high enough to be able to hit enemies, because sometimes enemies will just flat out avoid your normal attacks. Now, I'm just rec I'm just recalling all this from, you know, memory, of course. Like I said, I haven't played this game extensively since I was a kid, and even then I never beat it. I don't think I even got to the last, like, tenth of the game. I don't really know. But before I go to my third point that I want to make, this is Neko, this purple cat with a sack on his ass. And, uh, basically, uh, if you go to shop at him, and you'll, you'll be finding this guy all over the place in the game, the two, by the way, and you can save at him, which I'll show you in just a minute. If you go to buy from this dude, he has a wide variety of stuff, and he's constantly updating his inventory, it seems. But one thing, that bandana, 100 gold pieces, that's twice as much as it was back in Poto's Village. <laughs> so, yeah. Although, you'll be able to buy stuff from this dude anywhere in the world that you find him. He is overpriced. Or, I should say, he overprices things. But, uh, and sometimes he's an innkeeper, like right now. And, uh, while I'm not going to stay... See, it's 30 gold pieces, and Poto's Village it was 5. I'm gonna say no, and I'm gonna save my game instead. So yeah, you know. Like I said, he'll always be there to save your game for you. That's pretty nice. I think you only need to buy something from him twice in the game, and that's only if you want the best uh, stuff. I, I think. I don't know. I could be wrong. But anyway, my third point I have against this game personally is the, uh... Why don't I actually save up for a stronger attack? That would make more sense. And miss. <laughs> is the computer AI, you know, your allies that you'll be obtaining th throughout the very beginning of the game. They are kind of dumb as potatoes. Anyway, this is Major Dyluck, and we'll be seeing more of him later on. Spoilers. We came from Pandora to fight Elenae, 
The Witch in the Haunted Forest. Okay. We need a whip to go through the shortcut to the castle of Elenay, the witch. Okay. A whip, that sounds interesting. That's Major Dylock. I just said that. This mission will be full of danger. But we'll do our best. Okay. That was me pounding my chest. Major Dylock! All set! Right! Let's go! Up two, three, four, up two. So I'm not gonna do that. What was that sound? That was weird. I've never. Hmm. That sound was actually pretty familiar. I wonder where I've heard it before. Oh well. I guess they just went off into some random direction or something. I don't know. It seemed like they went that way, but they disappeared. I like the entrance to this palace. I don't know. Something about this just about this is just so serene, tranquil, peaceful. Like, you got lily pads, shallow water you're running through, although it looks like it's up to my uh, chin. You got waterfalls all over the front of the palace. That's just badass. It's like a temple in a Zelda game. Let's go, Mike. All right, Gemma. So, yeah, it, it appears as though we met back up with this old dude after all. And there are big bronze braziers lining the pathway in here with green flames. That's badass. Something about entering this place just feels so epic. Like, I can actually picture it in 3D in my mind. Like, in Ocarina of Time or something. I know it seems kind of typical to think of Ocarina of Time in a place like this, but oh well. Can you blame me? So? Now what? Uh, hey, you! Where's Luca? Hey! How rude! Luca, it's nice to see you again. <laughs> Welcome. What? You mean this chick's 200 years old? And she has red eyes, too. And a yellow thong on her head. Luca, monsters are invading villages. He just fought one. I know. The ebb and flow of water brings me news from around the world. You saved his ass three times. I watched. Mana's power is growing weak. That's why this board... Board? <laughs> That's why this boy was able to take the sword. But when he did, the balance of Mana in this area shifted, and monsters revived. Like zombies. There are evil monsters working to steal away the power of the Mana Sword. By defeating those evil monsters, you can restore the sword's Mana power. The Power Glove is kept in orbs. Looks like it regains some power from the Mantis Ant. Why it's called a Mantis and an Ant, I'll never know. There must be more hidden orbs which hold mana power for the sword. Oh, uh -huh. you don't say. And you must find someone who can forge the sword to release its stored power. Aye, aye. Gemma. Once I was one of Lucas' followers, I studied the power of mana which sustains everything in this world. Luca? Gemma, watch out for the Empire. It seeks to obtain the Mana Fortress. The Empire? You mean the one that destroys the world in that fairy tale? You know, there is an evil Empire in every RPG I've ever played. There is no fairy tale, boy. The Empire is trying to awaken it! What, the Death Star? The Empire is going to unlock the seals from the world's Mana Seeds. A bunch of strangers have already started snooping around in this place, up to no good, raising trouble in the neighborhood. Something's very wrong in Pandora. There are mercenaries running around shooting the shit out of everything and doing missions. I don't know, Gemma. See the king of Pandora and tell him to be cautious. Right. I am on my way. Mike, you go to the cave called Gaia's Belly Bump. Dwarves live in there, for some reason. They make good weapons, and they know all about them. They may know something. Or somebody who can reforge and empower that sword of yours. It looks pretty limp. As your sword's power and skill level increase, so too will your ability. Okay. Okay. Oh, I gotta speak to her. <laughs> Mike, what are you so scared of? What? I'm scared? Well, 
if anything, I guess I'm scared of the fortress? I mean, it, it'll destroy humanity, won't it? Eons ago, the Ancients used the Mana Fortress in their final battle. But even they couldn't control Mana. In the end, it was your sword that saved the world. Survivors rebuilt the world to honor Mana. Okay. That is THE Mana Board. Board, son of a... Sword! <laughs> but his power is gone. It used its last ounce of power to summon you. Why me? Yeah, that's a... That's a damn good question. Why me? Because I'm the hero? Why did it choose me? I don't know. <laughs> but now you must re-energize it. That's all I got. Oh, well... No way. Mike, the Empire must not restore the fortress. Regain the sword's power first, or all's lost. What should I do? You must become a hero who's worthy of the sword. Who, me? That's impossible! Mike, the Empire must- Oh, she's saying the same stuff. Oh, I get it. It's an- It's a constant loop. Fine. Okay. Yeah, I'll- I'll blindly rush around and save the world. Enough! Pull the sword up to the seed. Whoa. Uh, gee, I didn't know acorns could float up in the air and spin around. For a moment, the seed and the sword became one. They did? I've sealed the mana sword with my mana. S I've sealed the mana power with my mana sword. Now the mana board from the board. <sighs> what is my fixation with boards today? My God! Now the mana power from the seed will be sent only to you and your sword. You'll be able to gain power from the mana seed wherever you are. The world has eight palaces. Yes, we are really taking a page from Zelda with this one. Go to those palaces, and while you're at it, take this spear. Mana Guardians used it long ago. Received spear. Here, I thought she was a woman. Okay, okay, I'm not getting good. I'm not gonna... Yeah. It'll grow and regain its power, because it's a spear. A big, manly, throbbing spear. There must be more weapons like this spear in the world. Find them. Here, I'll restore you. <laughs> he fist pumps the air as she restores him. Wanna save? Yeah, sure, why not? Oh, I saved not too long ago, that's stupid. Alright. First, head for Gaia's belly button, like Gemma said, and look for the underground palace. To reach her belly button, head south through the realm of Pandora. Just watch out for the mercenaries. Also watch out for any more of Grey T-Shirt Man's shitty jokes. Okay, you know, one problem I do have with this palace... Uh, hear me out, guys. When you're when you're a guest in someone's house, I mean, it's one thing to have to take your shoes off and leave them by the door. But to wade through water that goes up to your chin? Uh-uh. No. I'm sorry, man. I'm not going back. Not unless you have some really good chips. Just saying. <laughs> Alright. Well, we're out of there. Hey, while we're at it... Why not try out our spear? Now, the thing about the spear, in case you'll notice, it is an upgrade in power. It is stronger than the sword, for now. But, at the same time, it's not leveled up quite yet. And I'll show you what I mean here in just a moment. Okay, I see watch. At 100%, I'm, I'm holding down the attack button still, but what's this? I'm not charging up, it's because it's level 1. But, it does do a decent amount of damage, more than my level 1 sword, even though this spear is level 0, so... And yeah. Plus, not only that, but for some reason, I just find the attack animation satisfying. Whoa! Uh... Uh... Oh, shit. Ah... Uh, fucking locals. HELP! Ouch! You! You do not move! Just stay still! You are very lucky! You're going to be our main dish! Help! Let me go! You look delicious! Ah! Am I in lava? Hey! The dancing's already begun! Let's join in! 
They were like dancing on their way to the dance. <laughs> so hey, why is that girl's ponytail up in the air? Is she alfalfa? From little rascals? Hey, you! Who, oh, me? What on earth are you doing? You idiot! Please help me! <laughs> Who says I'm here to help you? I'm here to eat you. I'm a goblin, bitch. Whoa. Let's get out of here. She's pretty strong. She has hoisted my ass right out of that pod. I owe you my life. But what are you doing here? <laughs> I've been searching for someone. For a second. I thought you were him. A case of mistaken identity, huh? I guess I lost the game. Now wait a minute. <laughs> I'm only joking, dumbass. Look, I'm in a hurry. So you better get back to your home that you got banished from. Later. Hey, wait! Ugh. Left without even telling me her digits. Alright. Well, back to wherever the hell I'm going. Oh yes, Pandora, I believe. So that means we're going south for the winter. Because I'm a bird. And you can be too. Oh, and by the way, the spear doesn't cut grass. I guess the, only the sword is capable of that. You know. Because I can't just stab the grass. Well, in theory, that would be kind of stupid. Whatever. <laughs> I'm not going to think more into that. But anyway. So, yes, we are off to the Kingdom of Pandora. And you'll laugh your ass off when you see it. Because it's nothing like a kingdom at all. But, hey, it's an RPG that was made in the 90s. So, I didn't expect too much. Alright, since I guess that kind of excuses it from happening. What was this thing do? Oh. Well, uh, that, that was useful. Thanks, Square. Because, you know, I mean, if I really wanted to get up, there's a, there's a stairway right there. A few paces to the east. But whatever, right? I'm sure speedrunners have taken advantage of this very specific thing right here. But I almost ran into it again. <laughs> anyway. But, um... Damn. I'm not getting a lot of loot. Usually by now, I've gotten, like... All the candy I can carry. And a few, like... Well, I forget what they're called, but whatever it is that restores status effects. Or, I, should I say, removes status effects. Oh, come on! Get up, you Nancy. Nancy boy. Can't handle some mushrooms. Too much for you. Virgin. Whoa, almost got sprinkled on again. Don't want your sprinkles on me, bro. Sprinkles will knock my ass clean out. Well, Alright. Well, this is Pandora. This is a mighty kingdom. My neighborhood has more houses than this. And I live in the boondocks. Well, kinda. I don't know. <laughs> I love that show. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and call it quits for now here, folks. I hope you enjoyed the episode, uh, despite my random screw-ups, and I really appreciate you watching them. I really do. I, I love all the support that I get. I'll take whatever I can get, you know. Stop running into me! How oh, rude. I'm not going to show that clip again. <laughs> anyway, um, have a wonderful day, guys. This is Gray T-Shirt Man, signing out. Real, 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 real.